Good morning to you, all dear viewers. Welcome to WhatsApp. Yeah, we're super excited that yes, we're back again. It is ten o'clock, and you know, once it is ten, you you on your screen watching Galaxy Television, you're gonna see yes, or oh maybe a dollar and everyone. Yes, we're so excited that you, all dear viewers, you're still there watching, and of course, we know that you'll be expecting this program. And here we are today, Friday, the 21st of June 2022. Hmm, how fast! Just a few days ago, we said, Happy New Month, Happy New Month, Happy New Month, and here we are, county days to say goodbye to June. Yeah, this is what's up. My name is Omevi Idolor. That's I love calling my name, you know. I feel good when you call it that way as well. Yeah, that's what's up. A program designed for the Gen Z's, but we always say that if you're young at heart and of course you vibe to the new generation kind of songs, kind of thing, of course, this program is for you. Age is just but a number, you know, so don't uh, deprive yourself of entertainment, of enjoying yourself, laugh like give yourself reasons to laugh, just laugh out, enjoy the moment, don't be engrossed don't feel as if the world is on your shoulder no we are all in together but you know better days ahead we can only pray for better things yes and of course on whatsapp you know what we do we do basically entertainment like i always say that whatsapp is a program where entertainment has made its abode entertainment lives here this is where it stays this is where it's dying we do everything with it and of course on whatsapp we do movie reviews we will tell you the latest movie in town give you the latest release and how you can watch them or the ones that will be coming out um, in a moment so so we do a whole lot of movie reviews and we give you the best of the best of reviews we, of course we do celebrity gist we'll talk about the lifestyle of some celebrities and how they go about it you know how they go about their life we we, we put our eyes in their affairs sometimes just as some other presenters put their eyes in our own affairs as well mm -hmm. so it's a give and take thing it is the nature of the job you know then we move on to fashion and style we're talking about trendy fashion styles and all those things of course trendy issues and the society what people are talking about that you may not know we do that and of course the best of the best is where we bring in uh early celebrity guests most sometimes they are with us live in the studio other times via zoom just like we'll be having today so you know we do a whole lot a whole lot to bring entertainment to your table and we ensure that it is safe to you hot so you don't get bored you just have it's everything to enjoy feel free feel good it's feel good it's a happy day you know it's really really a happy day but you know i don't have to do this alone that is why i always come with my g my guy my bouncer my my sherry coco my bodyguard his size is what is making me call him my bodyguard because he's big you understand so when you do hey he will do hey hey you know he is the the big size teddy bear and all the other aka's he's gonna give them to you i have already baby with me in the studio how are you good very fine very okay so when you were saying <laughs> um and um, when it's 10 o'clock people should see me because they want to see me they don't know, and then you now we get seats and then they, oh, uh, I, oh. You know, they don't see me to see you they just need to see what's up right of <laughs> course you. i am the face we are the faces face of what's up you're in i yes yes what are you serious is, about keep yourself, keep your top of yourself. <laughs> today is friday june 21st 2024 and of course it is what's up on galaxy television this is the funky freaky friday edition of the show so you know mondays through fridays we run the show and we always keep it locked to keep it real we keep it a original yeah. of course we bring the lives we bring the jives of course the vibes now we turn into fun extravaganza now just like maybe said we do have all this interesting tiny tiny little bit mm -hmm. topics that we bring to the fore where we make you guys smile because um recently in fact two days from now or two days ago rather we've been doing some 
something out of the norm. Yeah. We're getting so much feedback. feedback yeah. Exactly. So um, we had calls the other day, something we regularly seldom do not do. But we had so many good feedbacks. We had people from Kaduna, we had people from just far away we should be calling through and that's beautiful. Anyway, I want to say thank you for all you do yeah. and uh, for those fans who are custom or something yeah. and say what up, how you that day, I see some people whispering and all that. We love you guys from the bottom of our heart, we really love you, we care deeply about your well-being. Now, on the show, I want you guys also know that Galaxy Television is on the go. Exactly. So head on to your Google Play Store or iOS Store for those who use Android or iPhones and download the Galaxy Mobile app. It's very important that you do that so mm -hmm. that um, in uh, an adventure where you cannot see or you cannot watch on live television, you can actually go through it's on your mobile. Gadgets, download it and you see that, yes. Galaxy is here for you. Also, you can watch WhatsApp because we stream live on Facebook, on Twitter, which mm -hmm. is X, and of course on Instagram. And then you can head on to Galaxy Television Entertainment on YouTube. Just click the subscribe button to go out like and watch us as well. So when you do that, you know you're part of the family, you're part of the show, and we'll always, always be there to make sure you are taken away from the clouds into the stars. Anyway, you know who I am. For the purposes of today, you can call me Orally Baby. That's A-U-R-A-L-E-E. -E. Um, every day I'm over six feet is a good day. Yeah. Make sure you put that at the back of your mind. We start telling you love, love, and again, love. Welcome. As a yeah. Person. Yeah, there's just uh, two things I want to say Orally before we continue. One Baba was driving this morning. I don't know you, but Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for for uh, the healing and all that. You know, uh, many people have actually... See, my name is Omevi. The way they not call you, they, I don't know really. Maybe they don't call you Galazi. That's what most people actually call me. <laughs> and that was how the woman called me that Sunday. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Yes, of course, that's where I work. And I'm proud of where I am. Yes. Thank you so much, Sarah. Then, uh, already this morning, I said... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to make puff puff. <laughs> you, you know, actually woke up early. I did the mixing. So at about uh, six, six, six thirty thereabouts, uh, I woke up and I said I should fry my puff puff. And I actually did, but I came out having crackers. <laughs> I don't know how, but, but for me, it was, I, I even almost uh, uh, took a picture of what I made, so that I'll show you. You know, I am... I thought you did not show me, because <laughs> I would have finished you. You wanted to make both, both ended up making make crackers. crackers. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's something I want to learn, and uh, the first try I failed, the second one, I'm not going to fail. Why am I saying this? You can try anything. If you fail the first time, does not mean you have to feel again or even if you feel again and again and when you keep trying you're gonna get it right so that is the excess of the story we're gonna go on this quick break and when we come back you'll be meeting our celebrity guest stay with us we'll be right back back this is the what's up on galaxy television from our overall program be our guest of course yeah today hmm we are having another legend someone who is good in fact when i went through those person's profile already i was like wow this person is versatile this is someone who has refused to let himself to be restricted to be boxed like anything media and the entertainment industry every part of it this person has been there he is good he is he is an amazing 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 guest in fact we are so on honored to have gideon olufemi oguni raw with us today in the studio via so hello are you there Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, my people. Uh, yeah, it's so good to finally see you. After Thank how many you. rivers Thank that you. we've crossed, we've been looking forward to seeing you. How are you this morning? 
I'm fine, I'm fine. I've uh, taken hot pop in the city of uh, Ibadan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, take it <laughs> <laughs> That's good, that's good. Yes, I guess Thank this you. one is all the way from, all the way from Ibadan. And I just want to give a very short, very short uh, profile about our guest. Of course, he is a creative force in the Nigeria uh, entertainment industry. His name Gideon Olufemi Ogunniro, also known as Ogidiolo Afrocentric, is a multifaceted talent with a robust career in Nigeria's creative and entertainment industries. With a master's degree in African studies, that's cultural and media studies, from the University of Ibadan, and a bachelor's degree in philosophy from Obafemi Awolowo University, Ugidi Olu's academic background complements his extensive professional experience. As a broadcast journalist, Ugidi Olu Afrocentric, Afrocentric has made significant contributions to various media outlets, including You Left. You Love TV, Odua FM, and Jams FM. His engaging comic and critical presentations and insightful commentary have have uh, garnered national in, national attention and positively impacted audiences. You know, Gideon's influence extends to the content creation domain with a myriad of funny online skits and testament to his exceptionality and versatility versatility as the creative director and ceo of ugidiolo afrocentric media and communication gideon has demonstrated his prowess in strategic communication marketing and creative project management and of course his musical talent is evident in his released tracks such as a mm, sorry i could not pronounce that one but a yeah. Ah, or Ali, fear God now. Will you assist me in that era? Go ahead. <laughs> then pick my call, Wura, and many others, which he has done. Of course, in the acting arena, he has been featured in not notable productions like Awon Aladunde. Am I right? I hope. I hope um, uh, you are not going to cr crucify me for all this on African Magic Yoruba and thing. and you know, and to mention but a, f a few. So, but so far so good. He has written a lot of songs across diverse genres of church for churches and for popular artists in Nigeria. He currently boasts over a hundred unpublished songs. Gideon Olu Afrocentric is also a well-trained poet with competence in both Yoruba and English poetry performances. He recently performed a Yoruba poem in honor of the late Uncle Jimmy Sholanke at a tribute program organized by the Institute of Cultural Studies of Bafemi Aolowo University, Ilife, and at the University of Ibado, alongside his creative idols, such as beautiful Nubia and Femi Ajayi, AJ Sequencia. Now, when I said we have someone who is good at what he does, you will agree with me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome again Gideon Olufemi Oguniro, a.k.a. Gidi, Gidi Olu. Yeah. Welcome to the show. This Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to be with you. And I yes. hope uh, people who are going to have a nice time having uh, Of course. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Now, straight to the business of the day. Of course, myself and Orali. Not me. I'm an easygoing person. Who is Orali? That is a that I, that, I that squeezes. I see from what you are doing. What can you see? <laughs> Thank you. Gideon, what can you see? Gideon, what, what, what do you think you can see? You cannot see anything. Me, I am an easy going. He's the one that will squeeze and squeeze <laughs> and milk. <laughs> so, come on. How Take us back to memory lane. How did the journey start? Okay, I would say that. Uh, the journey started uh, from my father's compound. I was born into uh, a family of uh, creative minds. And mm -hmm. I would uh, say that my father, at least uh, from uh, what my memory can tell me, is the uh, progenitor of that uh, 
a creative ingenuity, which runs uh, in all our family, my siblings, lives, and everybody. So I was born into a family where you wake up to your father singing or writing songs or poems, and your mom singing, your elder brother doing the same thing, your younger ones. So it was uh, such a nice and dramatic uh, moments, if I must uh, describe my childhood. And of course, uh, activities in the church encouraged uh, this uh, creative ingenuity because my father was always uh, the one anchoring any uh, major religious events like maybe song surfings uh, in our church. And my mother was among the uh, lead singers in uh, a choir. My elder siblings too. Then, of course, I also joined a uh, choir. So that, that was the uh, basis. That's what I can say, that it is actually from a uh, family line. And even up to now, my father still uh, performs as a master of ceremonies. My wow. elder siblings, uh, one is a radio presenter in Lagos. There is one who is a lecturer and at the same time a musician and uh, a poet. My younger brother is also a Juju and Tonga a musician. So it actually started from uh, the family. Yeah. And uh, of course, my mother wanted a doctor. But so when I got to secondary mm. school, especially in my uh, J history, I realized that no, that was a mission <laughs> impossible that I was <laughs> okay. just made for it. So yeah. I decided to join the art school. And all those trips kept manifesting in maybe during debates and in other activities that we did as our young students then. And as at, at the time I, by the time I was in SS1, or even before then, before then, I was already an itinerant poet going from one uh, event to the other, of course, by invitation. I was already facing a crowd of over 1,000 performing uh, poems. Oftentimes, energy during burial in churches, or we keep then uh, people that were doing wedding, maybe at the engagement ceremonies or uh, during receptions. So that was the foundation. Then later, I because of uh, my uh, activities in the choir, I started writing uh, songs for maybe Christmas carols or song services. And that is how the interest kept uh, germinating till I got to Obafemi Miaolo University. And there is a particular Hall of Residence, very popular. I won't say very notorious. I think it's a very popular Hall of Residence named Awo Hall. Uh, that Awo Hall actually projected me more and gave me an ample opportunity to showcase my talent because there are is what is called arrowism in Obafemi Aolawo University. Arrowism is just like uh, making jest of people, making people laugh, using what is around you to, I mean, to create laughter and merry moments. So I was a big voice when it comes to arrowism, and Aro Hall was a fertile ground for me to actually do a such a uh, kind of display. So. And it was through that that many people got to know that, oh, this guy can actually, I mean, make us laugh. And he can also be our MC. Then I started performing as master of ceremonies on campus. Wow. They are doing traditional, the cultural events, or mm -hmm. some parties. I started uh, performing as master of ceremonies. And all the while I was, I was writing my songs, I had a guitar then. So it was easy whenever the views visited. I would write my songs and even though I was not really uh, performing music, many people knew me then as an arrowist, a funny person, a jester. But mm. of course, my my jest, my comedy was always uh, accompanied by melodious music, which was yeah. most of the time spontaneous. So many people okay. know me for that. And what I could say made me more popular was when in 2012, I was, it was just a spontaneous uh, arrowism at Howell, and it was a 
uh, Good Friday, June, I mean, sorry, today, I've forgotten the exact date, in 2012. So we did the uh, comedy, a spontaneous uh, comic activity yeah. titled uh, Jesu Njeya, Iwan Jewa. And that was to uh, make fun of our guys that, okay, this is oh, a Good Friday yeah. day that they were beating Christ. How come mm. you that you should be suffering with Christ? You were now cooking <laughs> things. Because you had another yeah. So that video, I don't even know who recorded it. It went viral. And people started coming, calling me from kids, uh, including uh, MC, including comedy. And so when I finished my NYSC, I ventured actively into uh, the creative industry. And uh, yeah. one of the tools uh, I've enjoyed doing uh, his uh, presentation of radio. I uh, work with Total Drive FM in Lefe. In uh, Jams FM, oftentimes as a news analyst. And uh, later on, I was in Irawo FM in the United States. Then I joined You Love TV alongside my friend, Oyeshiki Nilege, who uh, was popularly known as Udia by Manfred. Effect. So the door of us were uh, employed at you last as comedian during the program night, but they will leave okay. the prophet where we were uh, satirizing uh, fake prophets in the country and our society <laughs> and dabbling into different uh, existential issues in our society. And all those people. Yeah, was that urge to venture into music? But music is uh, money consuming. It's not easy to venture into music and itself without support. And that is why my activities in music have been limited. But now there is that thing in me that keeps telling me that, and that is a destination. And I think I have embraced that reality. So I'm now working a major in music. Wow, that was a fantastic journey, you know. So beautiful, you know. Ah. Yes, um, Gideon, he says in your profile you are a broadcast journalist. Is that correct? Yes. yes. All right. Um, now, that's been um, proven time and time again. And, of course, um, I want you to be able to give us certain insights into this. For someone to be called a broadcast journalist, the term a journalist or a broadcaster rather knows a lot or knows something about everything. Can you expand on the topic itself? Okay, um, that is a very uh, deep terrain, uh, journalism. And it is because uh, the reality of such. Uh, conversation many times lies in error. For instance, uh, before the advent of social media, it is actually difficult uh, for some people to be heard because they were limited to a certain point, to a certain uh, areas. But in the advent of social media, we now have uh, journalists like uh, bloggers. People that are trained, but who do not have uh, maybe opportunity to work in a radio station or TV station, and they, do it, they decided to independently go into uh, media by maybe establishing their own group. But uh, my own, I mean, the general or the popular understanding regarding uh, broadcast and journalism oftentimes is people that are work. I mean, that work with uh, government and uh, media agencies, private agencies, and they are charged with responsibilities of uh, disseminating information and uh, making uh, people aware. And like you said, for you to be able to disseminate information, that means you must, I mean, you yourself must be well yeah, informed. Yeah. And that places a big responsibility. As a broadcast journalist to be aware 
to be critical, to be inquisitive, and to have a research mind. I don't know if I've uh, answered that. Of course you have, you have. Justice, yes. Thank you yeah, thank you so much. But we'll, right now we want to go on a quick break and we'll listen to, now uh, we're going to say the work of Gidi Ulu. And when we come back, we'll delve into his career properly. Stay with us, we'll be right back. This is the what's up on Galazi Television. And of course, I still have Orale with me in the studio. And I have my guest, Gideon Olufemi Ogunero, a.k.a. Uh, Gideolu, still with me via Zoom. You know, when you see people who are born funny, they just have that thing inside of them, you will know. Listening to this music, we've been laughing in the studio because this man has brought comedy, comic into music like some of the things he says we only but make you laugh yes so to our guest <laughs> tell us about the song what inspired the song <laughs> just tell us about it <laughs> okay uh this song that he just played uh, <laughs> it was written in 2017 and that was when we were working with uh, you laughed to me so we just okay. moved from Nevada to Lagos, and uh, where we were staying, uh, each time I was uh, playing my guitar, there was uh, a woman. Uh, mm -hmm. Whenever this woman mm -hmm. listened, whenever this woman heard my guitar, she would come knocking at our door, and I, I just met my uh, fiance, who is now my wife. Then. She was okay. Really, I was always calling this person. She was too engaged to pick my call, and I was surrounded by several temptations in Lagos. You know, women are much in Lagos, and <laughs> as a musician, <laughs> not only really man, but ah. I heard that when they listen to a good music, there is a way they also uh, connect with so. I am for I was. <laughs> you want to No, go on. We listen. Okay. Okay. So it was at that point, and that time I was writing the song. Uh, I'm the composer of the University Anthem of First Technical University, Ibadan. Yeah. So it was at that time that I was writing that song. So I needed to be here and. Uh, a very, I mean, be in a very quiet place so that I come out with something good. Mm -hmm. So it was also at this moment that different women were distracting me. And that was how you realize. And I actually uh, brought out the reality of uh, Nigerian social uh, political situation in Twitch because that very day there was no light. It was hot. I was sweating. I prepared him to me. I mean, no, to. I could not hit it because I was plunging to hear from um, uh, them fiancé who is not my wife. And so it was at that moment that I wrote uh, that song and I just mm. uh, worked on it oh. in 2022. So that is ah, it. see inspiration. <laughs> hey, women are powerful. But I really wanted to yeah, say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women obviously, you said women are powerful. Women yeah. obviously have all the power in the world, and um, I, at the point I feel like they are more stronger than men are. If you ask me, now I want to ask you this quick question. That is true. As if that is true. I, I believe it is uh, those uh, that do not understand uh, how powerful women are that are actually talk true. about gender equality. They are already ahead of yes. men. But the many of them do always know. yes <laughs> now as a veteran what would you do different in the movie industry if given a chance to effect a change now if you're given a chance to change something right now especially as we have the evolving um nigerian movie entertainment mm -hmm. industry becoming one of the best in the world for me in the world i'll call it top three after the United States, yes. we have Bollywood and then Nigeria. And Bollywood and Nigeria, they're struggling mm -hmm. between themselves mm -hmm. to see which is better now. As a veteran, mm -hmm. what do you feel you can change? Or is there anything you can put into the industry right now to effect a major change? 
okay. Uh, I am uh, that person that always uh, be, that always sees arts, a uh, creative enterprise, as a means of uh, activism. And so, if I should uh, be allowed to uh, do exploits in movie industries, I would actually major in the promotion of our culture and i'm saying this because the pioneers majority of uh the players in the media industry currently majority of the players in the media uh industry and by media i, I i'm saying that media cut across movies uh radio all those uh, enterprises so they are funded on a uh, colonial uh, narratives so if i have the opportunity to uh explore the movie uh, industry so well i will work and i will concentrate on the revitalization of our ideas of our virtues as a society of our culture and i must uh, say that there are a lot of players who are already doing that now to an extent when you watch uh movies being produced by Kunlia for Lion and uh Femi Adebayo in recent times and talking about Anikulapo and uh I guess the Kole, Jagu, Jagu. you can see Kesari. movies go on. hello yes yeah, go on. okay this, 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 these movies to an extent they are already telling our own story so what I will do differently is that I will concentrate on our stories and by talking about our stories, it includes our socio-economic realities. Many times when I watch Nigeria movies, I see a misrepresentation of our reality. For instance, you mm -hmm. see sometimes uh, a graduate, somebody that just graduated without job and is living in a, a well funny self-contained. That is not our reality. People are suffering. Yes, yes and it should be well i mean represented in movies because these are the ways by which people's opinion are defined are defined mm. so we must not mislead people by uh doing by giving them information that do not represent their true reality we should use movie production as a way of telling the true stories about our reality our the poverty level in the country should be well captured in our movies and the aesthetics of our culture our narrative our oral performance beautiful uh, narratives that we have got our folklore all this can be well projected so what i would do differently is that i would make sure that movie production is actually used for activism and that activism is towards re-engineering of nigerian society and by extension the african society we already have a disrupted identity by virtue of our history with colonialism and slavery but at this juncture when we have access to global media space we must be able to tell our real story and not imitate people from other society and i think indian is doing that very better than us we can also improve in that regard thank you yeah thank you very much for that now we just want you to quickly give a word of advice to the gen z's and of course to your fans people who want to come into the media and entertainment industry what they need to know or what they should do as they are venturing into this path okay uh i would say that's be a uh, passion driven mm -hmm. be passion -driven. There, there are different motives by which people go into entertainment space because of uh, the money here so yeah. many times you have people who are not really interested in your message what you do but because uh, they know that there is a commercial chance for them so they invest into it but many times uh that uh, does not last but as, as somebody who is passionate to what he is doing 
even when money does not come you will still remain fulfilled you will still be happy i will borrow from the word of my uh musical idol Shekwa Kilulu, beautiful nobia in one of his songs he yeah. says that is when there is money or when there is no money that we will still stay together and do exploits so yeah. if you want to go into entertainment first check your passion is it intact if you are not passionate then you'll be discouraged and you'll be swayed so yeah. my advice to people is that whatever you want to do please check your passion level be passionate about it and you will see yourself being happy always, even at the time when people feel you should be dejected. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Quickly give us your social media handle and how your fans and those who want to stream your songs, how they can get to do that. Your social media handle, please. All right. Uh, to stream my songs on digital platforms, just type Ogidio Lua for Century, you will get my songs. Then they can follow me on Facebook. Ogidio Lua for Centric on Facebook, on TikTok, Ogidio Lua for Centric, on uh, Instagram, Ogidio Lua for Centric, then on Twitter, Ogidio Lua Africa. The Africa is K A. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank Ogidio you so much. Ogidio Lua Okay, Gidio Lua Afrocentric. So, apart from X, you can follow him at afrocentric yeah i want to say a very big thank you for coming on the show today in fact we've enjoyed your story your uh, experiences and i love the part where you said the, where you said this is what you would change in the moving industry and i hope that becomes a reality if you were here we would have um, presented you a special gift from all of us to us have myself already and of course galaxy television but since you are not yeah. here no, we don't know. We will be able to you. Is it okay? You can come and collect it. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Gideo Lu. We hope that next time when we call on you, you will still respond. Right. We look forward to that. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, we'll be speaking with Gideo and yourself. Lufemi, and uh, right now we'll go on this quick break. And when we come back, we'll bring you in celebrity gist. I and do really are still in the studio, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. So, what's up on Galazi Television? Right now, we are going straight to celebrity gist. And in case you missed out, like we always say, the program starts at 10 a.m. If you're just joining us, don't come late because you've missed a session where we where we'll be speaking with our guests. And this is the closing uh, segment for this program. So next time you come early, 10 is the time. So moving on, Celebrity G, so rally, let's go. Odumo the Black rates Thames and Arista above Whiskey and Bonaboy. What they've done is bigger. Um, Odumo do. Black. Thing, you just open your mouth. Wow. <laughs> don't, you don't, don't talk. Open that mouth. <laughs> I start, I start yelling nonsense. Arista yeah. and Thames are obviously very amazing artists, but compared to Whiskey and Bonaboy in Igbo Thames, how can I move? They still be led. Do you know who Whiskey and Bona are? The kind of shows, the kind of stage, the, the kind winter, of arenas yeah. they have sold out and are still selling out. These are things. Things that Thames and Aria Star are only aspiring to level up to. You've not even called Tiwa Savage. You are calling mm. Aria Star and Thames. Don't do that. I feel it's a gross um, disrespect. Disrespect, to yeah. Who are doing so much. Yes, what a man can do, a woman can do better. But yet, it's not been. Um, it's, even no, Savage in, not this, been in this uh, context of Thames and uh, no. Aria Star, no. No, even no, Tiwa no, has no, no, no. much. No. Tiwa and Yemi that, that, that keeps selling out crowds and venues and mm -hmm. spaces. If you say Tiwa and Yemi Alade, I can't. Yeah, say yeah. I can't say, mm, okay, okay, mm, a little. Yeah. But not Thames and Aria Star. Why? Streaming, whatever it is. No. When you talk about artists who are doing it, 
Bonner Boy, um, top billboard ever, the highest rating, Bonner. Whiskey that sold um, one of the most beautiful singles ever made, Essence. I'm surprised he didn't even get a Grammy Award for that. Please, let me tell you, don't disrespect Whiskey that Bonner again if you want to be in the industry. All right, Lee came with violence this morning. He's oh, ready yes. to break any Absolute table. Nonsense. Break any table. Yes, moving on to the next story. They tell me it's like stumbling on pan rail flower. That's Thames boost. So Thames, just weeks back, she was like, she has really not experienced this heartbreak. She has not experienced certain things love but she is open to love and right now she's saying that she her heart is full of love that when you see her from outside her kind of person you will see a flower with a black color you understand the outside is black but when you come in you'll see beautiful colors like pink like purple but deep inside you will see a stone you understand so that's how she describes her style of love so she is all full of life so you will still stumble that's what she's trying that stone inside means that you're still going to stumble at some point but then what is it like if you are able to to withstand it you will be able to rise and you will love her and you won't regret loving her that is what she is saying so she's just telling in a nutshell that she's a beautiful soul and i love people with beautiful soul i love people with beautiful hearts i love talking to them i love associating with them you know it's it's a good thing to fall in love yes i believe so because yeah. i believe rema has fallen in love yeah and that brings us to this next story yeah my new girlfriend will have my child and um if you know who rema is you know that um his name is um, Divine Ikubo, and um, he has <laughs> Rema, 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 baby, calm down. Anyway, now, uh, Divine Ikubo, popularly known as Rema, says, um, you know, I like this story yeah. because it's something that resonates with me. Rema likes them big. He said his, his new girlfriend has a tattoo of him. And On her back. <laughs> And she is very curvy. I do not want to use the main words he used. So Rema, my brother, from another. As brother. well as he is. Rema is small. Yeah. Rema is not small. When I mean small, I'm not talking about uh, any other thing except body stature. Rema, have you seen Rema? Yes, I have. Rema is someone who has more body than Andrew. <laughs> oh my god oh, 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 hey orally did you just mention andrew andrew's like man now moving on to the in fact i i, I will forgive orally but i know some persons will forgive Remember him is having a child y'all i'm so excited no he just said that the girl will have his child and that's beautiful yeah i have i have a 150 staff paid them five years in advance that's baby Niger white money speaking for days now white money has been trending on uh, social media I don't know it's a good thing that yes you know all your staff he understands what works for him you understand he said he's a busy person he's involved he's into so many so he has a lot on his plate so he doesn't want something that will drag his business back or that will make him forget that yes or oh, some of us say you are owing some people so he decided to pay according to the podcast he some of you said that we heard so he just confirmed it my only pro question or um, the only comma in what is what it is very good but already you've paid someone five years is it the same salary that the person is earning now that you paid the person five years ahead okay. with this economy that is changing every day first for him to pay there's something they call um, ah. basic law of contracts okay is offer and acceptance yeah <laughs> but offer to pay your salary for five years straight ha. you accept it it means you're okay with it and that's what i think we can we will not take more than that <laughs> so we want to run home because the rally is mm. or at least not anything it's My, mm. uh, anyway i don't want to say it <laughs> <laughs> drink water mind oh. business that concerns you every day above six feet is a very good day all right do not turn off someone else's light bulb because you want yours to shine the brightest. I am Kenneth Obina. You know me as Orally Baby. Follow me on Instagram at official underscore Orally. That's A U R A L W. See you next week.
very big thank you to all of your fans and to Gigi Olu for coming on the show. A very big thank you to our producer, Mr. Femi Adewale. We appreciate you, sir. And to Mr. Emmanuel Abiodun, we love you. You are one of my pitchy pitchy. And to the crew, Mr. Kaude, uh, our Green Lancer, I don't know here, and every other person, those in the control room, thank you, thank you, thank you for holding it down this week. And to my G and my guy, Orale, you know I love you. Just like you two stuff. Love Jesus, leave me alone. I'll see you on Monday, 10 a.m. Don't miss it. My name is on Baby Idolai Cross on social media. I love you, man, 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 man. But love yourself more. <laughs>